Adobe Document Cloud by Giriti Rastogi, Solutions Consulted, Document Cloud, Adobe. Ms. Rastogi has over 12 years of industry experience in SaaS-based products, specializing in document-centric products like Adobe Document Cloud, Contract Lifecycle Management, and Learning Solutions. With a strong track record in driving successful customer outcomes, Ms. Rastogi has collaborated with organizations across various verticals, including IT, manufacturing, pharma, finance, and board on a global scale. Her expertise lies in helping customers harvest the full potential of ID products to enhance their ecosystem and realize significant benefits. Please join me in welcoming Ma'am up on the stage. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming here and listening to this entire session. So, as suggested, I'm Katie Rustovi and I'm from Adobe and I'm a solution consultant specializing in work of Now, before I take the master class and talk about, you know, uh, what it can do for you, I want to understand how many of you had heard about Photoshop. Can I see a raise of hands? Okay. So, do you know the company that does Photoshop? About? Yes. Which one is it? Adobe. Okay. Good to know. So, I mean, I had a massive hand raise for Photoshop. So, everybody's away. Point one, one. So, Adobe, but when Adobe began, the first product that we ever came up with was not Photoshop, actually. It was our basic document cloud product, which today is known as Acrobat, that allows you to edit paid hits. We came up with this product. 40 years back and this product now in the past 40 years as we've spoken about you know industry growing technology growing it has grown and survived in the last 40 years and is now in a place where it can help you put your documents together give you the power to manage your document and document processes a little bit better so let's understand how Adobe Document Cloud can actually help you manage your business better. And actually is a product that can grow with you because right now we are talking to SME businesses. These are small and medium sized companies that need products because we are also so talking about technical, technical advancements, right? You need to grow, you need to adopt technologies to have clean manufacturing, you need to uh, make your paper-based processes a little bit easy. How can you do that with Adobe Document Cloud? So when you talk about digitization of documents, today digital documents are the new currency of business, right? Engagements today, any engagements that you may have, but be internal engagements, external engagements when you're talking to your customers, will always have a digital footprint. You might be meeting people online, talking about business, growing your business. Most of the customer meetings I do today are online. And even after I've done that particular meeting, I will come out, send a particular document explaining the products and services that we had to offer. So all the engagements that you do are, uh, are digital first and you will leave or leave a digital footprint, right? And everything is experience driven. Everybody in the ecosystem, be it people in your organization, people external to your organizations, your vendors, your customers, everybody needs to have a good experience when they are communicating with you. And security is non-negotiable. These documents that you are exchanging, where you are exchanging your information with the customers, need to be secure. And it needs to be accessible in a hybrid quarter where you can look into these documents or a process or initiate a process while you're on the go. You don't have to come to office and initiate a particular document process. It needs to meet you where you are doing the work, while the device you're doing the work with. So in your tablets, in your phone, your laptops, at your home, everywhere. Right? So when you look into certain statistics. Why should we even be talking about documents in the conference? The sheer number 
of documents that are dead in the world. There are approximately a trillion PDFs that are in emails, cloud, or web. Now, 85%, and these are statistics that have come across, you know, come from various studies that have been conducted. 85% of SMBs invest, are investing into digital tools to enhance productivity. Right? Even SMB market, mid and small companies are investing in the digital tools to accelerate their internal and external processes. And 40% of growth in PDF related, you know, Google search has been there. Also, with solutions, you can reduce the turnaround time that it takes for you to send a document out for sizing by 80%. And again, 80% of business leaders actually focus a lot on how to improve their document processes. Now, when you talk about documents in a company, uh, every department in the company, be it sales, be it HR, be it IT, in a small and medium size business, maybe you do not have all of these uh, departments, but you may have a few of these departments. Whenever a document exists, it's something that we can help you create and manage the information throughout a little bit easier. How would we do that? So basically, whenever you're talking about documents, could be sales or related documents or HR related documents, the way you create these documents, it needs to be easy. It needs to be from the productivity app. So if you're using Google suite of products or you're using Microsoft suite of products to create these documents, you need to be able to create the PDFs from right there while ensuring that these PDFs can be secured, they are accessible to multiple people, so on and so forth. Also, you need to be able to collaborate on these PDFs. So if you are in the organization and you want to discuss comment and read on the PDFs, you should be able to do that. You should also be able to analyze the content in it. So once the PDF is closed, you should be of this the data that is contained in the PDF should be in a format that it can be analyzed easily. And also the most important fact that documents needs to live the life of your organization. So ten years down the line, twelve years, twenty years down the line, you need to ensure that the document exists and you can go back and you will need to make it very easy for you to be able to look up and look at this particular docu uh, document even 20 years down the train when there is a read. And when you talk about maturity, like, right, as the organization, they want to have one of these processes. They will want to have, uh, you know, uh, an entire fully digitized digital transformation workflow that involves for them. But you need to start small as well, right? Wherein maybe you have a model of PDFs and it was up to you able to create effective PDFs to integrate an ecosystem wherein you can create these PDFs from productivity and so your choice. Or you need to have a workflow wherein you have the command in creating documents from templates and then sending it up in a particular workflow manner. So with Adobe, you will be able to kind of create the document workflow and it will meet you at the stage that you are in. And so as you grow, right, as your needs evolve from maybe a water and various infrastructure to an integrated system, we will support you in that particular journey. Now, how will we do that? What is it that we have to offer when it comes to uh, you know, the document cloud services. Now, these are the four pillars of our document cloud services. The first pillar we have already spoken about is the Acrobat pillar that, that allows you to edit, compress, or manipulate a document in an ad hoc fashion from the device, from a solution quest of your choice, right? The second pillar is our e-signature pillar, which basically allows you to sign a particular document. The document that's so, you know, that you had to take a printout or send it out, post it to someone to get it signed, can now be sent in a digital manner. And the turnaround time can be reduced from days to minutes. And the entire, and also 
the fact that you need to store a physical document. And again, 10 years out of the nine, nobody will know where that document is. But if you were to use an East India HS solution, you would have that document in a digital fashion and you would be able to pull out that document when, uh, when you need it, basically. The third pillar is our document services pillar. So basically, everything that you could do in an ad hoc manner in Acrobat can now be leveraged even through API and services. So suppose you have a bunch of invoices that need to be scanned and that need to be compressed or combined, right? And just think of very generic use case, you could use the, uh, you would process the document through our API services as well. The fourth pillar is the pillar that supports the first three pillars in start integrating an ecosystem. So as you grow, you're going to be uh, enhancing your technical stack as well, right? As you grow, you're going to say that I need a CRM solution, I need an HRM solution, or I need an ERP solution. So Whenever you choose a technology partner, you need to ensure that a technology partner can also connect and talk to these different uh, you know, products that you have chosen to support you and your business. Uh -huh. And we know exactly that in the fourth pillar. So, so yeah, this is a little bit more about the products in detail. So basically, what happens is that Adobe document now the underlying idea is that it can give you a secured infrastructure to send secured documents. It will adhere to the compliances of your uh, name. So, pharmaceutical, VFSI sector, it really need to adhere to certain compliances when it comes to signing of documents. It will do adhere to these compliances. These documents need to be accessible oh. and we need to have an improved experience for even internal as well as external people that you're talking to. It needs to enhance productivity and collaboration within the company and also needs to be interoperable. So basically it needs to meet you when you are doing your work, right? And with Adobe document you will be able to achieve the six of these points. So exactly what does it mean how have we helped companies like you manage or uh, you know shorten their document processes so let's look at a few examples so suppose uh, let's talk about an offer network process right right now you might be generating an offer network or typing out an offer letter in yourself then you would be printing it you would be signing it scanning it sending it over an email. The person also will look at it, print it, sign it, scan it, send it back to you. And then you'll upload it somewhere and store it. This entire process has 11 steps and seven manual steps. When the simple signing solution, you will be able to generate the document, send it out for signing via email. Then the candidate will receive this email, click on a view button, sign the document and it will automatically come back to you and we can set up automated reminders so that someone is not manually sitting and reminding people that okay you need to sign the document and this is often error. think about what it will do for your agreements that you have sent out that follow up that you continuously need to do okay sign this particular PO that can be automated let's look at another sector BFSI in this case, wherein how we help, uh, you know, improve the set settlement workflow. In the settlement workflow, basically, you know, what the information would be given to the collection agent, the collection agent would sit that, okay, they need to process settlement for so many people. Then the agent would go to their particular houses and get the settlement done. The entire process, again, and has around nine steps with seven of them being manual. With Adobe Document Cloud, the person can raise a request for the settlement to be done. As soon as they raise the request, a document can be sent to them automatically for them to sign it. And as soon as they sign it, it will come back into the BFSI, uh, you know, come to its infrastructure and be stored in there. So again, the nine-step process can be reduced to a more met four-step 
process as well. Let's take another example. Now, this is something, uh, you know, this is an example from a pharmaceutical or a life sciences sector. Where then uh, you need to get a percent for being signed via patients. Again, physical form is given now, the patient reads through it, signs it. There's a lot of printing and scanning involved. The entire process again is line steps, which can be reduced to five steps. So basically, giving ways of storing the document that gets signed. Tomorrow, when you need to look for this particular document, you can type in keywords and search this document rather than looking into a storage rag and searching top to bottom the document that is signed by a particular candidate or a patient or for a settlement offer. So basically, how does this help you? This helps to improve the transaction speed. The, day, the transaction that took days could take few minutes to be to, to get done. It will improve the efficiency of the people who are working on these particular documents, creating them, getting those documents signed, so on and so forth. And also, a lot of our customers have realized around 500 plus percentage of return on investment with this product itself. So. Again, in India, the, these days, there are a lot of companies who are now using our solution. Uh, IIT Madras actually is one of this, uh, you know, uh, is an institution that uses Acrobat heavily, especially for their students as well as teachers to, you know, read through the documents and notes and everything. But yeah, there are many BSSI companies, consulting companies, manufacturing companies that are automating their documents via Adobe even today. So these are again a few examples. So the TSB Bank is a UK based bank. When COVID hit, they had a lot of manual documents that, you know, like address to each documents that someone had to photo a particular branch and sign these documents. Like that, we digitized around 21 self service forms and it reduced around 15,000 branch visits that they wouldn't have had. And we did this within less than three months. We gave, we automated these 21 self service forms for them. So it was really good for them to, you know, kind of digitize these processes using us. Again, we also, you know, meet our own cake. So, Adobe's legal team also uses a signing solution to get one of contracts and everything signed. So that's also another thing. It is not just there. Today, Fortune 500 companies, mid size stockies, small size stockies, everybody is using Adobe Document Cloud to automate their business. What I want to leave you with is just this. If you want your documents to be secure, apply it and for your teams to have a great experience while creating and managing those documents adobe can support you in that journey so now i would like to invite ravindra who leads uh, sales in this particular region to come and share as a thoughts i'm ravindra kumar and i edge species for adobe india for the north region I added basically four states along with the NCR region. Uh, I don't want to spend much time with you right now, just to give you a little bit idea about our organization and what we have to offer is that I shared it across with you. If anybody would like to spend some time with me, I'm here only and I've kept my cards in their team. You can take my number and email I from there. So, so Adobe is California based organization. It has across offices across the globe. But in India, we have almost four uh, Adobe-owned uh, offices. And then we have employees across the globe for 30,000 plus employees. Um, we have office in Noida, two offices, within which we have a lot of support staff sets in, along with our Babylon team. And we have presence in Mumbai as well. And, and just to give you the idea about the products, we have available products uh, under the digital media, 
uh, something called as Creative Cloud. Then we have a lot of applications on the Creative Cloud where in which we can support your designers, your UI UX, your graphic design and motion or designers. There we have a lot of solutions, uh, 2D solution as well as 3D solution. And the other part which uh, KT has just presented, which is called as Dog Dog Solution. We have something called Acrobat, we have something called Sign, we have something called APIs and integrations. We have a lot of solutions with it, which as an organization, we can support you in your digitization journey. You, you can see and see to reach out us. We'll be happy to support you with it. We'll be happy to spend some time with you and your organization to understand how we can best support you to, to, to grow in this digitization journey. That's it, Tom, and thanks, thanks a lot. And have a great day.